welcome to Chef Live. I'm Bonnie Johnson, the Chef Live nutritionist, and I'm here today with Chef Myra, AKA Dr. Flavor, and she is gonna show us a fabulous trick, and this is one that I use at home all the time. Really? I do. Yes. So, yes, you show, us what, you show us what you do, because I think it's almost the same thing. Okay. A lot of people are wondering, how do you wash their fruits and vegetables? Right. Do you wash it with soap? Do you wash it just with water? Right. So you tell us, what would you do? Well, as you know, I'm a vegan chef. Yes. And in case you don't know what a vegan is, is a person that chose not to eat any animal or animal byproduct. Oh, what I say with humor. Anything that had a mother or a face. Uh, so vegetables and fruits are not the only thing we eat, by the way, um, are really part of the whole process. So a lot of people, they think when they buy vegetables or fruits, they just leave them in the bag and they put them away and then, then they prepare them and, and there's little nasty things like bugs or pesticides or waxes. So they don't realize all the little, st mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you something that is very inexpensive okay. because if you choose to do it and buy the mm -hmm. manufacturer, okay, right. it's cool, you know, yes. as long as you do it. Right. But if this gets empty, why don't you just do your home? And this, right? is, and this is the trick that yeah. I love because I, as a dietitian, I get asked all the time, how do I wash my fruits and vegetables? Are those products that you can get at the grocery store right. worth the money? And I say, well, you know, if you're going to wash your fruits and vegetables, absolutely, but yeah. here's a simpler way. Right. Because, I mean, most of the ingredients, read the ingredients, is going to be very similar <laughs> yes. to what we do. It is. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get lemon juice, obviously. And, um, and you know what? Let's get a bowl because for some reason I didn't get one. Oh, a bowl? Okay, yeah, well I can that. do that. <laughs> I got all the ingredients prepared and of course I guess they're going to be as a quantum cooking and it's going to just float. Okay. Um, thank you, ma'am. So what we want is, oh, no. oh. this is the bomb right here, okay? Okay. For anybody who thinks that they don't like to squeeze lemons, yes. here you go. This and is the tool you that. need. And then it's just that, just lemons and, and hormones, boy, this is... Big. Look, it's a big ah. one. Okay, so work your arms. Yes, a good right. exercise in the kitchen. Uh -huh. I always say that you could get exercise in the kitchen. Right. Mm hmm. No more turkey, f turkey flappers. Pecs. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, so we have one teaspoon, two teaspoons, you know, okay. approximately. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, and keep then. Keep in mind you're not eating it, so it really doesn't matter mm -hmm. what it tastes like. Exactly. <laughs> and lemon and lime is really like an antibiotic. The acid okay, in it, absolutely. So it takes it. Mm -hmm. And it's also alkaline. Do you know mm -hmm. the lemon is alkaline? I didn't the know The pH that. is high. pH is high. Absolutely. Okay. And then we're going to take baking soda. Mm. Pow, pow, pow. Ooh, that's Look a good that chemistry going on. You can it? do it with your kids, right? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. And then we want to have a little cup of water. And I like to use that distilled water most of the time. So like a little cup, right? This is about six ounces, so just okay. a little... And then another little kiss over here, approximately one cup, right? Perfect. So you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do is, this is your spray. Yeah, you just okay? pour it into a spray bottle, right? Right. Yeah. Then when you, when you spray, mm -hmm. then you want to soak them in the sink. Okay. Then you do look, you're going to add an extra thing. Okay. That's what you're going to add is the salt and the vinegar. So okay. in your water, Ta-da! Our bowl of water. Right. Let me put this one over here for a minute. And right here, what we want to do is get the vinegar in here. Okay. So the vinegar is going to be about a quarter of a cup. Where's my little handy? You know, it's about a quarter. So it's just something like that. Right? Right. And then we're going to get salt. Now, I always use sea salt because mm -hmm. real sea salt. You know, because mm -hmm. it has minerals. Right. There's some some nasty little rumor there that say you don't need salt. Mm -hmm. You you need the good salt because you need the minerals. Right. There's 73 minerals mm -hmm. there in salt. Right. Okay. So we're and gonna what put, people don't realize is no. that it's sodium that we're that is a big is, is the buzzword right now that right. people want to stay away from. But when you're using right. sea salt, the sodium is actually less because there's so many more minerals Correct. in the sea salt. So when you have vegetables mm -hmm. and fruit, they already contain that sodium. Natural sodium. Okay. So this is your soaking water. Okay. Right. Okay, now I have a little handy dandy empty mm -hmm. bottle I bought from the store mm -hmm. and I said, okay, I'm not gonna use it. Right, I'm gonna make my own right. because Chef Myra told me to. I like that. <laughs> Listen to the voice. Yes. 
And okay. then, and tell, so would you, when you bring home all of your produce, mm -hmm. do you wash it all at one time? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. So you just get it over with. You know, I mean, you did an investment there, right? Right. Absolutely. You spent like 20, 25 bucks on this, and then you leave it in a bag to die. And nothing breaks my heart more than yeah. pulling open that produce drawer and seeing wilted, yeah. shriveled up peppers and things. So you don't want to waste that, that investment. You're not going to get any nutritional okay. value. Let me see how good I am. Oh, Ooh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay, well, you get the idea, blah, yes. blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I often tell people that, you know, they ask me, what's better, fresh fruits and vegetables or frozen? And I say, well, a fresh fruit and vegetable that has died in the bottom of your produce bin is no more nutritious than a Big Mac. Well, <laughs> check this out. Number one, the only reason you should be buying frozen mm -hmm. if it is out of season. Right. So that would be number one. For a busy mom like me, though, frozen can be come in so handy Absolutely. just to toss into a dish so that I know that we're getting something but rather than nothing. But even a busy mom, with the right proper management of time, you can hook up Ooh, something fresh. Okay, you're going to teach me That's then. what I'm saying. <laughs> okay? We got we to gotta go back to okay, school. Okay, let's wash a All vegetable. Right. So we're going to spray. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Soak. Now this is your sink. Look at this. You pretend this, this is your sink right here, okay? Now, this beautiful, now let me tell you a little trick about your grocery store folks. They put wax so you, you can get attracted to them, mm -hmm. so when you see them in the bin, you go, oh, oh my God, that's such a pretty bun, you buy it. You know they don't care about that, they put this wax. Mm -hmm. They don't care. So, now this is definitely something that you get your kids yeah. involved in too. They can do this while you're putting away the other groceries exactly. or while you're preparing dinner. So you they can really get into this. Going on. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you get your prep team. Exactly. You got Look at how that is foaming up. That's probably a yeah. lot of the little I'm issues a, I'm a, that are on there. I'm assuming that I want to change it to the pesticide. See, you're rubbing, you're washing. Yes. You're washing, you're washing. You know you're Just washing. like you're washing your hands. Yes. So you spray. That's great. You wash. You know what, while you finish this, we're going to go to commercial, Great. and we'll be right back to finish it up. Yeah. Welcome back. While you guys were gone, while you were checking our website, mm -hmm. look at what happened to the vegetables here in our, in our bowl of water. You're seeing all the See stuff the come out. See how it's changed the color? That's the stuff that you're taking off, and it was so easy and inexpensive. Healthy for your family, a good way to get your kids started in the kitchen. And good for the to it's save a good and save your produce for the long run, Not so just it doesn't that, die in your refrigerator. Do you know how many children don't even know what the heck these names are? Oh, I do. I do. Uh, excuse me. Let's go back. Do you know how many adults? They don't know what the heck. <laughs> let's just go back to the adults. So uh, this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an education for everybody. Right. The kids, the first thing they go, they're, they're in charge of mm -hmm. washing it. Mm -hmm. Then the storage is important mm -hmm. because, and let me tell you how you save money, though. Okay. Now you ready for this? I am. No, I'm. I'm really. I am. Okay. I'm always up for saving now, money. When you wash your vegetables and you store them mm -hmm. in the proper crisper, mm -hmm. they actually last almost a week more. Okay. I'll take me in that channel, email me if you think I'm okay. like, you know what? Put them in the right crisper. Yes. So you are ready. So if you're preparing a meal mm -hmm. or a whole week's menu, mm -hmm. you seriously will save money. Okay. I can do that, that. That is so important. The same with your herbs. There's a way to wrap this and a, safe, a way to wrap that. Okay. Can I show you a trick? You can show me a okay. trick. I mean, well, we have a couple getting, more minutes, so okay. let's get a really quick. We get the pesticides We're, we're still going to let those right. soak a little bit longer. Now, do you have to rinse those off with water before you put yes. them back in? Okay. So yes, we're going to rinse do. them so under water. Because according to the recipe you're going to see, you need to let them soak at least 25 minutes. Okay. So I mean, when you're putting your groceries away, mm -hmm. you can let them soak yeah. and do your thing. And then rinse them under water before and you put them, put them away. Okay, so right? show me your trick. And guess what? What? The flavor won't change in there if you let them soak. Really? Nope. Mm. Isn't that amazing? That is. Okay, so you get a nice towel. Okay. Of course, uh, this one happened to be like. Well, that's right. right? Some of us, th yeah. that's what our nice towels okay. look like. <laughs> now, if you designate a towel for you for your greens mm -hmm. and your herbs, no bleach. So okay. get your herb towel or your right. Mm -hmm. Now this is an old school, this is grandma stuff, okay? This yes. is old school, all right? You take your greens, all your greens. Cilantro, okay. it lasts almost two weeks. I'm okay. serious. No, these just green herbs? Can I do this all with green. my arugula, with all spinach, green. Yep. with fresh, okay. But even okay. your herbs, you take your herbs, mm -hmm. you put them here, you wrap them around, boom, 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 boom. You get some water, 
nice and cold. Okay. And you store it. Store it in the, the crisper. It just in the crisper. Okay. Be careful that it's not over forty degrees because then you freeze the stuff. Okay. <laughs> then you got this frozen towel. <laughs> now, do you, can you store them all together, all Absolutely. the different herbs? And so you can actually want... categorize. You can have one towel could be these greens, this towel could be cilantro okay. and, and so forth. And but they herbs. won't they won't cross flavors. Nope. Okay. That Absolutely is wonderful. Not. Well, thank you, Chef Myra. Pass this tip to save money right here. You give us two great tips today. Yes. If you want more, you can go to cheflive.com. Recipes, handy tips like this, and a lot more personality. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Chef Live.